Hello, everyone. My name is Mo Zulfikar, and welcome to another episode of Income Investors. With me today is John Whitefoot with another exciting income pick. If you want to read more about what John writes on a regular basis, you can head to IncomeInvestors.com, or you can find the link to the website in the description below. The global apparel market took a beating during the health crisis of 2020, with lockdowns, store closures, travel bans, and supply disruption cobbling the industry. Over the last two years, though, apparel market has been roaring back. It's not quite back to pre-health crisis glory days, but there is certainly a degree of normalcy. Some apparel stocks have taken longer to rebound than the others. One apparel company that has seen its fortune turn for better is Cato Corp, traded on New York Stock Exchange under symbol C-A-T-O. John? Yeah, thanks, Mo. Yeah, specialty realtor of fashion apparel and accessories, Cato operates roughly 1,170 apparel and accessory stores in 31 states under the banners Cato, Versona, It's Fashion, and It's Fashion Metro. Through these stores, the company sells fashion for women, men, boys, girls, infants, toddlers. They also sell jewelry, accessories, and shoes. Its stores range in size from 3,000 square feet to 8,000 square feet, with the Cato and its fashion concepts primarily in strip shopping centers. Versona stores are located in primarily lifestyle centers and power centers. It also operates an online store, too. Swing to profitability in the first quarter. A large number of apparel stores continue to struggle to be consistently profitable. Until recently, this was the case with Cato. In the fourth quarter of 2024, it reported a net loss of $23.4 million or a loss of $1.14 per diluted share. And for the full year, it reported a net loss of $23.9 million or a loss of $1.17 per share. Uh, at the time, the company blamed the poor performance on lower discretionary spending, higher interest rates, and inflation. Fast forward to the first quarter of 2024, and Cato reported first quarter net income of $11 million or 54 cents per share, and that's up 150% from first quarter 2023 net income of $4.4 million or 22 cents per share. Cato said that sales for the first quarter slipped 8% year over year to $175 million, with same-store sales down 6%. Commenting on the first quarter results, company CEO John Cato blamed the same reasons as before when it came to its financial results, but he said he was cautious about the remainder of the year. And I think Cato has reason to be cautiously optimistic the economy is growing, inflation is moderating, and overall industry fundamentals look as though it will support increasing consumer spending. It maintained its quarterly payout of $0.17 cents per share. Yeah, well, save for the 2020 health crisis, which Cato suspended its dividend for most of 2020 and the first half of 2021, the company has provided investors with reliable quarterly payout. Uh, now, to be fair, it did cut its quarterly payout from $0.33 cents per share in early 2020 to $0.11 cents per share when it reinstated it in the second quarter of 2021, then raised it to $0.17 cents per share in the third quarter of that year, and it's held it there since then. Last declared a $0.17 cent per share quarterly dividend, or $0.68 cents on an annual basis back in May. Current prices, that works out to a froth yield of 10.86%. And CATO stock is up 25% over the last month. Yeah, admittedly, Cato's high dividend yield is a result of its low share price. Late April, Cato stock hit a 21-year low of $4.56 per share. It has rebounded, though, since then, getting a big boost after reporting solid first quarter results. As of this recording, Cato stock is up roughly 25% over the last month, though it's also down 10% year-to-date and has lost almost 18% of its value over the last year. Current outlook for Cato stock remains solid, though. No analysts are covering Cato Corp, but industry tailwinds point to Cato reporting improving earnings this year, which could help Cato stock trend higher over the coming quarters. Again, we'll have to wait and see. John, thank you so much for your insights. Just to recap, Cato Corp is an apparel stock that has seen its stock come under pressure as the result of inflation, higher interest rates, and cash-strapped consumers tightening their belts. Despite industry headwinds, Cato Corp reported solid first quarter results, which saw earnings increase 150%. Management remains cautious about remainder of the year, but with the economy growing, inflation cooling, and interest rates poised to come down, the outlook for Cato and his stock remains robust. While investors wait to see what Cato stock does over the coming quarters, they can sit back and take advantage of its reliable high yield dividend. That's it for today, and make sure to go to IncomeInvestors.com now to get our free special report on three income stocks you own today. One of those stocks currently has a dividend yield of 12.7%. You can find the link to IncomeInvestors.com in the description below. We'll be back with more income picks soon, so stay tuned. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye for now.